Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'll be opening up the Boombox High End Baseball Edition. It's been a while since I opened Boombox. The last time I opened Boombox was well over a year ago. I mean, it felt like forever, but I'm back I'm back at it with the Boombox. But before I get into the Boombox, I decided to show off some Topps Project 70 cards that I that I ordered off the Topps website. And Project 70, as everyone knows, it's a it's a fun little project that's that includes artists and they choose their you know their favorite team or players from baseball and read it and design them in their own way um, on tops cards throughout the years so I decided to show these off they came in today so I thought do a little, little do a little mail day so the first card I I ordered from Pro project 70 was the Ben Baller Mookie Betts one it was the first one to set along with the Babe the Ruth and uh, Fernando Tatis. But out of the three, I went with the Moogie Betts because, I mean, Dodgers are my team and first card to set. It's a nice card and overall, I just like how they did this design. I do like the little, you can see the Topps um, logo on the back, the rainbow foil. I thought that was pretty cool. There are parallels you can receive with these, but... It's all on chance. You can receive the rainbow foil of this. You can receive the gold frame or the silver frame. But that was the first one I got. And the second one, of course, it had to be another Dodger because I love the cards this year more than the Topps um, Project 2020. And this one is the Justin Turner one. This one's by Jonas Never, who designed this one. I thought it was pretty cool. He used the 1982 Topps design. For this Justin Turner, and I just love the moment that he captured in this card where Justin Turner hits a big home run in, in a playoff game against the, the Cubs. So these are the two cards I picked up for Project 70, and I like it. I'm liking this year. I might get more of these cards for the Dodgers, maybe of other players, depending how they depending how the design comes out. So yeah, I'll put those in the background as we get into the main event now, which is the boom box. As you know, Boombox comes in three options. They have three different um, options on their website. They have the base, then they have the high end and the platinum. High end comes out to 60, of course, with plus um, shipping and taxes. The platinum's at, at 100, and their base starts off at, um, I think it's 40. And of course, with every Boombox comes with packing peanuts. Kind of missed the packing peanuts. They do include a little lecture here literature here I mean and they let you know what's gonna be in each month's um, pack lineup and so for this month the main the main packs for this edition is the 2021 series one jumbo and it shows you here the odds so there's three hits in the jumbo which comes with an autograph and two relics so that's our best odds of hitting a, a hit and this is one also the main reason I also got um the high-end edition because they included 2020 gypsy queen which is which was one of my favorite products of last year for tops. And we also got 2020 Heritage High Number, which I haven't opened yet. And we, of course, the pack that always comes in every um, boom box is the 2014 Bowman Draft. And here they got the information to find if you want to order one on social media. And they always include a ticket promo in each of their boxes. If you get a ticket that says you're a winner, you have a chance to win uh, the grand prize for the month. So this month it's the George Brett Hall of Fame autograph bat. But of course, like if you don't, I mean, I haven't gotten a ticket yet, but I mean, it would be cool if one day I can get the ticket. Let's get into these packs. Oof. Move away these packing peanuts. Let's rearrange this a bit here. Let's check out our, our packs for tonight. Of course, if every boombox they include a, it's usually a magnetic one touch. But I mean, with how the how supplies have been limited lately, they they throw in a screw down. But I haven't really used any of those lately because I haven't really pulled any big hits enough to where I say, oh, needs a one touch. But hopefully that can change. You never know. So here's our pack line up here. We got the Heritage High Number, 2020 Update Series. 
Gypsy Queen, 2014 Bowman Draft. Oh, you threw in 2021 Series 1. Hobby, sweet. And 2015 Bowman Draft. And of course, the Jumbo Pack. So I'm just going to go in that order and see how this goes. So Heritage High Number, product that just like um, Tops Update Series wasn't that great because it didn't include many um, rookies. They saved it for 2021. But the big one that would be nice to pull out here is Luis Robert. My first time opening this product. So let's go ahead and see what we get out of here. If we, maybe we can get a hit. Nope. Start off, we have Jimmy Cordero. Yanni Diaz. Aaron Bummer. Miguel Andujar. Nestor Cortez. Domingo Santana. Tim Castro, Nomar Mazzara. And Dallas Keiko. And of course, you always check the backs for any short prints. And so for Heritage High Number, the short prints are anything above 700. And, and we do have one short print, which is of Nick. Mr. Cortez, that's one, and that should be the only short print. Yep. Not bad. I mean, it's a product that it's a product that not many people um, were a fan of because not many rookies in that class. So let's move on here to update series. Another product that people weren't a fan of because they saved all the rookies for for 2021, but it's a fun product to open. Because it includes all the um, past All-Star highlights. And it's a bunch of Mike. You get a bunch of Mike Trout and Ken Griffey cards. Can't complain there. So start off here with Jorge Lopez. Karen Maven. And there you go. Boom. Randy Arrows Arena. Street continues with Randy. Pulled his Tops Chrome from the update series um, last time. And now you got another base. It's a nice hit. Sandy Leon. David Gurleon. We have Houston, McCutcheon, Pujols, All-Star Highlights, Grayson Griner. Oh, Shogo Aki Ak Akiyama. That's not a bad one. Not a bad rookie to get. Turn it around here. We got Adam Plucko, Tyler Hennyman, Austin Allen, and ooh, Kershaw for the PC. So that was, a, that was a good pack right there. That was bad. We got the Randy Arrows Arena. Street continues. Let me know down below in the comments if you've ordered a Boombox High End Edition for this month. Did you? Did you like the pack lineup? Do you think the value is there? So now I think the value is there. I think Boombox has been pretty fair with the with the value and the pack lineup for each month. Uh, moving on to 2020 Jigs Queen, which was one of my favorite sets of last year. Just love the design overall and the feel of the cards. So of course, looking for the top rookies here of last year. You know, Robert, Alvarez, Bichette, Lux, so many. We start with Polanco, Jalen Davis rookie. Turn it around and get Samarja. Oh, we got a blue parallel. Framon Rays, and our blue parallel is of. Oh, sweet. Ruzar Gadderall, who's now on my Dodgers. He was pretty he had a pretty good season and even even a performance in the playoffs. It's a nice parallel. Should be numbered out of 150. Yep, 146 out of 150. Oh boom. And a nice little hit there. Travis Denard. Trying to agree check and Denny Jensen. It's not bad. Always check the backs too because there could be um, bazooka backs, but those are pretty rare to hit. Or even look for logo swaps of the Gypsy Queen. But let's see if we didn't get any of that. But we did get a blue parallel of Gratterall, who's a decent rookie. And some nice hits so far. All right, the premiere. Now we get to Bowman Draft 2014, which is always in pretty much every boombox. It's a very underrated product, but it has a lot of great prospects. Like you can get, I know the big one is um, Ilo Jimenez. There's also Trey Turner, I believe, Chapman. So let's see what we get here. Start off with Nick Birdie, first Bowman, paper, Phil Irvin. We got a chrome here, first Bowman of Braxton Davison. Don't know much about him. We got here a, who's this? Justin Williams insert. Never heard of him. Then we got a first Bowman Chrome of Gavin LaValey. Turn it over. We get Jordan Foley and Cody Medeiros. So we missed out on the top ones there, but we got some nice, we got several first Bowman. Had a lot of first Bowman cards in there. All right, moving up to 2021 Series 1 of Tops. 
have not opened any hobby of this. I've opened up only the fat packs. So that's why I also got the high end edition because it included the jumbo pack. I didn't know they were gonna include also the hobby. So let's see, what we get here looking for the top rookies as well. Mount Castle, Adele, Alec Baum. Here's another one, Casey Mize. It's not a bad one. Sixto Sanchez, he was pretty good. People have hopes on him. He did he did really well for the Marlins um, last year in the postseason. Pitched well. We got Luis Castillo. Anthony Rizzo. Turn over. We got Mauricio Dubon. Cattell Marte was a solid hitter. We got Javier Baez. Gene Segura. Turn it around. Get Colton Wong, who's now part of the Brewers. Oh, sweet. Got a nice rainbow foil here of Mitch White. Pulled his his base rookie when I opened up from from the value packs the other day. And now I get the rainbow foil. I love how these cards look with the rainbow foil. It looks nice. Oh, and we also got another. We got Jock Peterson, who's now no longer with my Dodgers. Fortunately, he's now a Cub. But it's still a nice PC hit for me. That wasn't bad. We got some nice, decent rookies there. All right, moving on to 2015 Bowman Draft. This series, that's all. This is another pack that's also found often in boom boxes, and not many people are like opening this product because um, the names are hard to read. But you can also find some de some nice um, first Bowmans in here, like Walker Bueller and like this guy right here, Kyle Tucker. That's a nice one, paper. You got here, oh sweet, Ryan Mountcastle. I pulled his rookie. Um, from 2021, I do have it right here. Boom. So now I got his first Bowman paper, and now, oh, it's nice. It's another nice hit. Oh, and we got a first Bowman here of Carson Fulmer. Not bad. He's pretty good. The Chrome. Turn it over. Who we got here? Mike Poppy, of the Cleveland Indians. Yeah, we got first Bowman of Hunton Moyer. And first Bowman of Matt. Is this crown over? Pretty hard to read. And first Bowman of Trevor McGill. So not bad. That was actually a pretty good pack. You got a nice first Bowman there of Mount Castle, Paper, and of Kyle Tucker. I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. I'm enjoying this. And we also got the Chrome of Carson Fulmer. Not bad. All right, down to the last pack. Main event here of the boom box, which is the jumbo. Let's see if we can pull one of the hits out of the box. I mean, it doesn't feel thick enough, but we'll see. You can also find rainbow rainbow foils that are exclusive to the jumbo, or maybe you can get a short print. Fat stack of cards for the jumbo. And it doesn't look like we got the hit out of the box, but let's see what we find. See if we can get the other top rookies of this class here. Future stars here for Jose Quiddy. We got a Daniel Johnson for the Cleveland Indians. Dalton Varsho. Yeah, this series is just packed with rookies. And we got Santiago Espinar. Isaac Perry, that's a pretty good one. Christian Pache, boom, that's one of the top rookies of the class of this year too. Did pretty well in the playoffs for the Braves last year, so I expect nothing but him to go up from 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 here on now. Wow, we're getting it's actually good. I'm enjoying this. It's actually been a pretty good boombox. Yeah, David Peterson, Anderson Tejada. Oh, another Kiebert Ruiz. It's my second one. Oh, and look, Mount Castle. So I wonder if that's the the correlation now. If you see Ruiz, you're gonna get a Mount Castle. So sweet. We're getting a bunch of nice rookies here. Correa, then we got Daniel Murphy. Put around. We got Brad Hand of the Indians. We got Michael Taylor. Gio Rochella. Francisco Mejia. We got Kyle Seeger. Max Stacy. Oh, sweet. Cody Banger for the PC. Just hoping he has a nice bounce back season. JD Davis. And we got a rainbow foil here of Liam Hendricks, who is now on the White Sox. Oh. I believe we did get a hit. We did get the autograph here. We got the autograph out of the jumbo box. An autograph is video of Jose Canseco. Sweet. 
That is nice. And it's on card. I love that. Wow. We did end up getting the hit. We got the autograph out of the jumbo box. Not bad. Jose Consego. That's a pretty sweet card. And then to the 86 design too. Wow. This is there's your boom for the box. You got a you got you got pretty good hits out here. We got Josh Donaldson here. Let's finish out this pack here before I review what we got. We got Joey Votto here. What is this? It's the 70 years of tops. It's probably oh, top design throughout the years. All right, that's nice. We got Yadier Molina. Turn it around again. We get Reese Hoskins, Aaron Judge, Marlon Gonzalez. I'm not familiar with the short prints, so if there's a short print, uh, let me know if I missed it or not. But I assume if tops is sticking to what they did last year, where um, if there's any short prints, they'll flip it over or turn it over. Turn it around, so. Aaron Woodruff, Whitley, Yastrzemski, Slam Diego, Trevor Williams, Hunter Renfro, Griffin Canning, Morning's card, Jake Arrieta. Oh, sweet. Here's my boy. AJ Pollock. That's a nice one to add to the PC. I'm liking this. You got Dane Dunning. Another Jock Peterson. The more the merrier. We got the Grom League leaders, Brandon McKay, Future Stars, Tyler Chatwood, Acuna. Escobar we ended off with Mookie Betts. Sweet, that's a nice card to end it off with. Wow. My goodness. So many. I say overall, I did pretty well. Pretty well with this boombox. I am satisfied with this boombox. I mean. I don't know. You, you guys let me know down below. I'm excited for this. Do a quick little review. I mean, got some nice little hits for my PC here. You know, for my Dodgers. That's sweet, as always. Got some rainbow foils and some nice rookies out of 2021. Pache is a nice one. The first Bowman of Mount Castle. I have high hopes on that guy, too. Kyle Tucker, who seems to be on the verge of a breakout season. Akiyama, we got a short print and first Bowman of Carson Fulmer. And of course, these are the main hits I feel, besides um the cards we pulled off to the side here. We got Randy the Goat here. There's Arena. We got the nice autograph here of Jose Canseco out of the Jumbo Box 2021. Corners a bit dinged up on the top, but overall, nice card. I love the signature. We got a Rainbow Foil here of one of my Dodgers, Mitch White, and we got the blue parallel of uh, Bruzar Gatterall. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in, for watching. Hope everyone's enjoying their Friday night. Let me know down below how you think I did. I mean, I did. I'm pretty sure I, I gave myself an A. I did pretty good. Nice solid A. But yeah, let me know if you guys need to order a boombox. Uh, we're like looking forward to seeing your guys' videos to see the hits you guys pull out of your boom box. Is there any boom coming out of your boxes or not? But yeah, wow. I'm happy. I might have, I might have to order another one. Maybe I might have to do a basketball one or, or football. I'll see. But like, once again, guys, thanks again for tuning in. I appreciate the comments, the, the subscribes, the likes. Appreciate it all. Hope everyone enjoys their Friday night, enjoys their weekend. And I'll see you guys next time.